In 2021, Marvel Studios is managing to introduce us to multiple new worlds, franchises, and characters within the MCU. From the upcoming Eternals, to the recently released Shang-Chi, and of course Marvel Studios What If being a twist on the familiar. Now let's talk about these brand new IPs joining the next season of What If. So this news comes at us directly from one of the people involved with Marvel Studios What If, specifically the head writer AC Bradley, who got to talk a little bit with EW in regards to what we can expect in Season 2. And essentially what was revealed is that going forward, we are going to start to see more modern properties become a factor in these storylines in unexpected ways as one would expect. Things like the Eternals, Shang-Chi, and Black Widow were all teased directly, saying that since these are so modern, wouldn't it be fun if we showed you some of these twists and turns that we could take with the bigger stories that these films present? Now, of course, I don't think anybody should expect some sort of crazy adaptation or anything. Much like season one, I think you can expect them to take some liberties or maybe even remix certain events. Like, what if the Eternals did decide to interfere when the Battle of New York happened? That would be really cool. What if the Mandarin decided to actually go after Tony Stark or show up at the end of Iron Man 3 and go, well, I'm actually the Mandarin, not them. That's all fake. Again, something like that. Black Widow, who knows what you could do there? Maybe Yelena becomes the Black Widow or something along those lines. And how does that have a ripple effect on everything going forward? So I think something like that is honestly more expected, as well as the characters just showing up in other random places really wouldn't surprise me. Just because of the nature of what we see in season one, I don't think they want to get too far away from what we know, what if is for. And also, you don't want to make it a giant thing that now becomes convoluted with its own giant continuity and thing on the side. Like, it's got to be a supplemental to the main MCU and not a replacement. And I think that's very important here for people to realize. So season two, taking more recent films and adapting them is honestly really exciting, I think, because... It's a much quicker turnaround. We don't have to wait years like we did, well, obviously, for some things like the first Avenger. But it's going to be really cool just to get these characters much sooner, much faster in more mediums. Like, that's pretty awesome. I really hope that they make an episode called, What if he wasn't Iron Boy Jr.? 